In this series, we will look into MRI machines. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. And an MRI scanner is one of the main diagnostic tools that doctors use to examine inside our bodies. The first step in taking an MRI scan is to use a big magnet to produce a unified magnetic field around the patient. The gradient adjusts the magnetic field into smaller sections of different magnetic strengths to isolate specific body parts. For example, the brain. Normally, the water molecules inside us are arranged randomly, but when we lie inside the magnetic field, most of our water molecules move at the same rhythm or frequency as the magnetic field. The ones that don't move along the magnetic field are called low energy water molecules. To create an image of a body part, for example the brain, the machine focuses on the low energy water molecules. Radio waves move at the same rhythm or frequency as the magnetic fields in an MRI machine. By sending radio waves that match or resonate with the magnetic field, the low energy water molecules absorb the energy they need to move alongside the magnetic field. When the machine stops emitting radio waves, the water molecules that had just moved along the magnetic field release the energy they had absorbed and go back to their position. This movement is detected by the MRI machine and the signal is sent to a powerful computer which uses imaging software to translate the information into an image of the body. By taking images of the body in each section of the magnetic field, the machine produces a final three-dimensional image of the organ, which doctors can analyse to make a diagnosis. Let's see the different types of MRI machines. First type of MRI machine is the traditional closed MRI. A closed MRI machine is a large tube that a patient lies in. This style of scanner almost always produces images that are of very high quality. Patient comfort in these machines is sometimes a problem. The small tube that a patient must lay in can cause a patient who is claustrophobic to panic. The MRI machine requires the patient to lie very still. Someone who is moving around can make scanning almost impossible. The small opening size of some closed MRI machines means that the overweight patients simply cannot be scanned. The second type of MRI machine is open MRI scans. In an effort to allow claustrophobic patients more comfort and to allow obese patients to be scanned, the open MRI was developed. Older open type scanners did not produce very good quality images due to a reduced number of magnets. The new machines come very close to matching those seen in a closed MRI. These still require a patient to lie down, but do not completely enclose the patient. The third is the standing or sitting MRI. Comfort is a very important part of patient care. The desire to increase comfort led to the development of MRI machines that allow patients to stand or sit. While these machines help with patient comfort, they currently don't provide a good image quality. In the future, these machines may improve in quality, which will make them much more useful. Right now, they are only useful in very specific circumstances. The fourth is the portable MRI machine. It's not exactly light weighing in at 1,400 pounds or 635 kilograms, but it's an order of magnitude lighter than a conventional MRI. A motorized wheel array on the bottom makes it quite manageable to drive the scanner from room to room without actually having to push it manually. Questions we most often receive is what makes MRI scans so loud? Loud sounds in MRI scans are produced by only three components in the scan room, the cold head, RF coil, and gradient coil. The cold head. MRI uses a powerful superconductive magnet that requires liquid helium to keep the primary magnetic field coils in a supercooled state. The chirping sound that can be heard in the background of most MRI scans comes from the liquid helium recondenser, known as the cold head. The main purpose of the cold head is to convert helium gas inside the MRI scanner back into liquid helium. 
It minimizes helium loss and helps to counter pressure created by the sublimation of liquid helium in MRI scanners. The cold head components expanding into a low pressure state as the helium gas enters the cold head chamber. The next sound we hear is the cold head components contracting to compress the helium gas. Why does an MRI make a loud knocking noise? The gradient coil houses three sets of wire coils and produces a strong time-varying secondary magnetic field that modulates the primary magnetic field during MRI scans. Gradient amplifiers supply each axis with rapid pulses of high voltage electricity that contract and expand the coils inside the MRI scanner. The loud knocking noise in MRI scans is the sound of the gradient coils interacting with the primary magnetic field, causing the coils to vibrate against the fiberglass mountings. The loud resonant noise produced by the gradient coil can reach noise levels in excess of 100 decibels, so always make sure patients are outfitted with the proper hearing protection before entering the MRI scan room. MRI sounds begin as a small RF source signal of less than 5 volts produced by the exciter assembly in the MRI system's cabinet. The radial frequency pulse makes its way to the RF cabinet where the signal is amplified and directed into the RF coil. You may notice the MRI sounds of one machine may sound different from another. That's because the operating frequency and RF power output required varies according to the strength of the magnetic field. As a good rule of thumb, higher magnetic field requires more RF output at a higher operating frequency. The RF coil inside the MRI scanner acts as a speaker and transmits the amplified RF signal at the angle prescribed by the MRI technologist.